Happy New Year's everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is 2017 and I'm so excited because 2016 has been such a rough year for me. This is the year where people are going to be making moves and I have broken now. Don't mind it. I broke it on New Year's Eve fucking around and I like smashed my best friends. Well, I pushed her head and I guess this is what I get for pushing her head because I broke my nail. But um, yeah, so happy New Year's to everybody. I hope everybody had an amazing New Year's. I did, I had so much fun and it was just a good time with my friends and family and it was cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys how I got this glittery cut crease on this eye. I've just been like really into like glitter these past couple of days and this past couple of months. So I wanted to just start off my first video of 2017. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. This is my first video of 2017. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by applying my soft orchid or gray, whatever, however you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we just gonna go with soft orchid. I'm gonna take um, the back of like a stick of this like lip gloss stick and I'm just gonna scoop some out of the little jar thing and I'm going to apply it with my hands, my fingers. I feel like it just goes on a lot smoother when I apply it with my fingers. But you know what? I'm not gonna lie, having this broken nail really helps with my makeup because I can get to places that I can't with my nails on. So Kinda, kinda like it right now. But the first shade I'm going to take is Red Orchid. What is up with these Orchid? Like everybody wants to name their fucking products Orchid, Okray. You guys, I'm not stupid. I don't know what y'all thinking, I can't read and shit. I can't read, but I just saying shit about that one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take that red or or gray, okay, color, and do a little dab into that color, and I'm gonna apply it on my crease. All right, next color I'm gonna go in with is Venetian red. Oh, I didn't even show you the first color. So this is the first color I use, and then I'm gonna go in with this color. And then I'm going to top it. Wait, where is that? Oh, and then I'm gonna go in with the cypress color. It's a dark, dark chocolate brown color. And I'm gonna kind of dab it into the crease. Like that. I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. So the next color I'm gonna go in <clears throat> is with Cypress Umber, like I see it. So I'm gonna take this same flat brush, I'm gonna dab just the tip of it, and then I'm just gonna dab it into my crease. Just like that. Next, I'm going to take this flat brush and then I'm gonna go in with soft oh cut I'm just gonna follow a straight line all the way from this corner to the outer corner I'm gonna take this flat brush and then I'm gonna take the mirror this is kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a shimmery champagne color. I'm just gonna follow the line that I made. So I wanna make this cut crease super defined, so I'm gonna go back in with that Cypress Umbra. I'm gonna take this um, pencil brush So I'm 
going to take some of my NYX glitter glue. I'm going to apply that to my lid. And then the glitter I'm going to be using today is from NYX as well. And this is the... Oh, I don't think they have a name for it. It's the NYX Face and Body Glitter. And the number... Well, I'll leave everything down below, but the number is GLI06. I'm just going to pat that in. Alright, so I've already applied my liner and my lashes off camera. So I'm going to take my primer, which is Smashbox Photo Finish. I'm just going to massage that into my face. Next, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector. And I got a couple new bumps that just wanted to make an appearance for whatever reason. So I'm going to cover them boys up with this stuff right here. With my finger, my broken nail finger, <laughs> I'm just going to blend that out. Then I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix Fluid in NC45. I'm going to take my flat brush, this is Sigma, from Sigma. And I'm just going to brush that on my face and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm going to go in with my Prolong Concealer in NC45. I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes for extra coverage, and then just any areas where I have those close acne marks. Next, I'm going to take my NARS. NC, sorry, NARS Medium 1 Custard. Alright, next I'm going to take my Dark One Cafe concealer from NARS and I'm going to use that to contour my face. Alright, so I'm going to take my Laura Mercier and I'm just going to set my face pretty much everywhere where I <clears throat> highlight it. I'm going to apply the powder. Alright, so while we let that set, I'm just going to go into talking about my hair, where I got it from, and all that good stuff. So this hair is from none other than Diva's Wigs. And this is, this is actually my first curly wig. I actually, I'm lying. I already have a curly wig, but it's not this type of curl. The reason why I like this curl is because, I'm gonna come in closer, but 
this is kind of like a spiral curly um, wig and it's it's like really natural looking I've never seen a curl pattern like this I'm just gonna put it like that I've worn a lot of weaves in the past a lot of like curly weaves in the past but I've never and I've worn a lot of wigs clearly but I've never came across a curl pattern like this um, so this is like I said from Diva's Wigs it's the it's 100% Brazilian virgin hair it's 22 inches and it is medium dark brown it's medium dark brown 150% density which I love I love thick hair you guys already know I don't even need to go into that um, the lace color is medium brown um, the construction is um, cap 3 glueless lace cap and the cap size is average I'm just gonna pause that for you sec for a second do you guys freaking see this curl like the entire head has this curl pattern this is so freaking cute like it's so curly it's so natural looking like I just I just love it like I just have never seen a curl pattern like this I really love the color of this hair like I'm hoping that you guys can see the color it's a light brown it's just so pretty and so natural looking and that's the reason why I continue to work with Diva's wigs because they've never sent me bad hair all the hair they sent me has always been so soft like this hair is so incredibly soft and it's just the curls are gorgeous like have you guys ever seen a curl pattern like this like I don't I don't think I've ever came across something like this like it's just so pretty and I just oh my god like look at this like these curls are so freaking cute like ugh. so I was gonna do an updo but I decided that it looks way better down so literally all I did was so the hair was like this I pulled some of the baby hairs down or I'm sorry I pulled some of the hairs in the front down like that and then I'm just going to kind of do a flip over style I made sure that I pulled all of it down that way when I flip it over it still looks natural so let me just continue the makeup so I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe away that powder. Next I'm going to go in with my MAC Deep Dark and I'm going to apply that as my base before my contour. Then I'm going to go in with Blunt just to darken that area. Then I'm going to take my Ampering Rose Blush. The highlight I'm using is Artist Contour and this is in Illuminati. To redo my liner in the inner corner um, it's a little hard to do it on camera so I'm just going to do it off camera and then show you guys the finished look actually let me do my lips first and then I can do the liner so I'm going to be doing Urban Decay um, Hex Glide On Lipstick then I'm going to take Catherine liquid lipstick and this is uh, from Anastasia. Okay, so I've already lined my inner corners up and put some mascara on. So to finish it off, I'm taking my MAC uh, Fix Plus spray. I'm going to spray that all over my face and 
Yeah. All right, you guys, well, that concludes this tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to do something a little different. I will leave all of my social media links down below. Also, guys, please leave any comments down below as to what type of videos you guys would like to see from me. I did see some of your comments from, I think it was my last video, the video before that, and I definitely am incorporating some of your guys' request in my videos for this month so stay on the look for those videos as well and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this sparkly glitter cut crease look and i love you guys so much you guys have no idea i just love the support that you guys give me and i will see you guys soon don't forget to leave comments down below oh subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time